Greetings and welcome to the Grandmaster Chess Academy. While uh, waiting for the Tau Blitz Memorial to start a couple days ago, I uh, went and played a game on uh, playchess.com and it absolutely came off in the spirit of Tau. It was a C3 opening that my opponent played, me with the black pieces. The Saragossa opening. So, this is the uh, game right here. Let's look at the board, get it from a black perspective since I was playing black pieces. And okay, let's go through this opening in this game. It's a pretty quick game, as you can see. The Maiden 23. Not unlike the uh, in the Pomachi game against Tomaszewski, where that was a resigned in 24 moves, I believe. But here we go. The Saragossa. C3, D5. And as you can even see in the last move, that there were uh, such games found at high level play, but. I quickly took it out. And now we're dealing with mostly master and IM level play. However, um, it continues to develop in a fashion that even Such players as Alf Anderson in 2004 could be found in these positions. So, curiously enough. Anyway, the game continues. Here. Alf Anderson went e6, and his game went on to excitement. As you can see, it was a win for Black. I am not Alf Anderson, and so here I played d4. And then with a quick exchange, I played the pawn into the center. Hitting the queen didn't seem overly valuable to me. So developing moves, getting pieces out, shoring up my pawn. Be expected. Break the bottom of the pawn chain. That's what you attack, create the weaknesses higher up. So I support with a bishop. It's crashing through. I support. You know, this bishop is unassailable except by a knight, but that's multiple moves away. So for now, this bishop is tight on that position. Knight off to the rim. Simple answer. Stay back. However, The engine Fritz found this answer instead. Which then leads to well, why? Just see what happens and you understand what is and or was hanging and what kind of doom could have been met into the position with simple play. So I didn't see that game of blitz. 
I want A6. Um, did I go through the whole variation? Well, this is one of the variations I did take a look at. You can just see the challenges in the position. I think it's interesting though. down. Maintain your world. And of course, this is how the computer sees things. But, uh, a lot to be seen in this. Anyway. I found that to be uh, an interesting study, but let's just get back to the game, because the game has enough excitement on its own, as you're about to see. There will be some more development moves, a little bit of activity going on. Now, here we get to the most interesting part of the game. We were studying the positional ideas of accurate play by going through the uh, computer. Thoughts build up the board a little bit bigger now. However, where we are right now, when I saw this position, I was like, okay, I see what's getting ready to happen here. This square, weak. This square under attack, bang, weak, king. That could be nightmarish. I am under attack here, this will be taken. When I take it back, the queen will be here. So my, my thought, first thing I'm thinking of, shout out to uh, Grandmaster Yasser Sarawan and International Master Nikolay. Menev, because Take My Rooks went straight into my mind. And I thought, yes, I should be able to equalize. So here is the tile like wildness that people love in chess. I thought about this move right here for a moment, because it was now, you know, I'm giving away my rooks. <laughs> you know, giving them away. My opponent paused for a moment, perhaps familiar with the book Take My Rooks, but it's irresistible, right? Now, I can't lock the queen in, I'm holding the square now, but she'll have to travel all the way back out, and a lot of the squares are not friendly for any kind of travel. So, of course, the first move, get up close, create threats shut down any opposition this can be taken but this is held and this is not where the action is currently taking place it's currently on the queen side so to get over here no squares until you get here there's no time for that because the rook is en prix 
So the book contains itself. Check. Now the king was supposed to go to F2 here. But this activates the bishop. It, it's it's pretty much lost here. And pretty. This is uh the kind of stuff you put hours into doing puzzles over. Tactical problems, as it were. And then the final slice. The queen took the rooks, but never got to move again. So... That's the kind of exciting chess that the Tao Memorial is famous for and certainly is fun to play. And you get to play such chess when you study. Yes, chess, love.